All right, well, Ayla, we're going to do a really cool science demonstration here today. And it's going to represent kind of what happens with warmer air and cooler air. And we've talked about, you know, temperature, air pressure, things like that in class. And what do we know that warmer air likes to do? It likes to go up. Yeah, it, it rises up, right? And the cooler air will kind of sink to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that's the principle that's used in hot air balloons. You've, I'm sure, seen the hot air balloons out, you know, floating around before, right? Yes. So we're actually going to make a hot air balloon. And to do that, the first thing we need, well, the first thing we need is a bag. And I've got just a thin trash bag here. You want something pretty thin and pretty light. So we're going to use this trash bag to make a hot air balloon. But we also need to kind of make a little support frame for it. And we're going to use straws for that. I'm going to give you three of those. And have you ever, like, taken straws and kind of stuck them, folded the ends and stuck them into each other before? Yeah. Okay. Just go ahead and kind of stick those together for me. Once we get those, we'll kind of put them all together and make us a square frame. And this will go on the bottom of our balloon. Yeah. But if you want to hold on to that, what we need to do now, we need to actually tape this into the bottom of our bag. Okay. So we'll get our tape and we'll get our bag. And if you want to hold the bag open, it's kind of a two for two job here. But if, you'll, okay. if, you'll, if you want to trade there, and if you'll hold the bag open, we're just going to kind of tape this inside here. And that way we'll have a nice opening at the bottom to let our hot air into. Because basically the way a hot air balloon works, um, it fills a big balloon, if you will, or basically a big piece of cloth with warm air. And that warm air, because it's so much lighter than the cooler air around it, is going to want to rise up. And because they have so much air, they can actually lift that basket, they can lift the people that are in it, and it can carry a lot of weight. Now ours is obviously a little bit smaller, so it can carry the weight of itself, but that's about all. But we're going to just kind of get some warm air in this, and we'll see just how far we can make it float up. We're going to see if we can get it all the way up to the gym ceiling. That's going to be kind of our goal. All right, let's flip that around here, and I'll take the other side. All right, so now we've got a trash bag. We've got a little frame around it here. And this is going to fill up with hot air. Hopefully, if, we, if everything works right, yeah. we'll fill it up with some hot air. And in order to do that, we're going to need a source of heat. And what we're going to use, I've got, um, if you want to hold our balloon for us okay. there for a minute, but in our little pan here, we've got some solid alcohol. And this is what they put when you go to like the buffet line. They've got those little fires burning underneath. It's, it's this. It's basically, it's a solid form of ethanol. So it's not going to run everywhere, it's going to stay where we put it, but it's going to burn, it's going to generate the heat that will lift our balloon. So we're going to set this down and light it. Now the way we're going to do this, I'm just going to have you hold the top of the balloon because it's going to take it a few seconds to fill up. And if you just want to hold it there, and I'll kind of lower the bottom down closer to the flame when we get it lit. All right, and you can just hold it there, it'll, it'll fill up on its own. All right, so we get it lit here. And let's just lower it down just a little bit, and this fire is going to start warming our air inside here. I might need to. Oh, yes, definitely. You know, it makes it significantly warmer inside the bag, and then you can actually let it go now, and it's probably going to want to stay up on its own. So we're going to hold it just a little bit longer, and we'll go ahead, we'll give it a countdown from five, and we'll let it go. So five, four, three, two, one, hot air balloon. All right, it kind of flipped over and the warm air got out there. Let's, get, let's give it one more try here. Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can get it to stay up right. All right. Because sometimes they do like to flip around. All right, we'll hold it over, warm it up again. You can go ahead and let go of the top. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. Here we go. And it. All right, flip it again, but you still, you still see that idea, the, the concept there. And if you put your hand in there, just feel how much warmer the air inside the balloon is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty hot air, even though, you know, a lot of that actually escaped out. But that's that concept of lighter air being able to rise up because it's so much less dense than the cool air. And that's what happens to work a hot air balloon. That's what happens to the air in our atmosphere as well. We get those, you know, we talked about those convection currents in the atmosphere yeah. that move warm air around the globe, move our weather patterns. And, you know, obviously, you know, as the sun shines down on the earth, it heats the air close to the air, it heats the ground, which warms the air. And that rises up, it pushes the cooler air down, and we get these currents constantly circulating, kind of like happening there with our hot air balloon. 